Virtual reality right now has a problem, and that problem is your peripheral vision. Even the best virtual reality headsets that you can get feel a little bit like you're wearing diving goggles. And that has to do with the complexity of the optics. You can't really put, uh, you can't just make the optics bigger. I'm not going to get into the science of how the sweet spots work and chromatic aberration and stuff like that, but the fact is you can't just make those optics bigger to get a wider field of view. So people are experimenting with alternative methods to augment the peripheral vision in virtual reality. I did one a few years ago where I added LEDs around the edges uh, to, to augment the peripheral vision. Those were fed uh, via an Arduino from the computer that was sampling the edges of the screen, just like an amber light. Other people have experimented with similar things. The problem with those is they require computing power and they're kind of complex. I'm going to show you how you can experiment with augmented peripheral vision in a virtual reality headset for very cheap and easy. You can actually do it with a Google Cardboard because this suffers from the same problem. You put it on and the edges around the lenses out here are visible as just big black areas. So how can you experiment with this at home easily? Using light pipes. A light pipe is a material that can redirect light. If I shine a light into this end, it comes out this end. Fiber optics, just like what you would use for your internet, are light pipes. Now this is a 3D printing filament by Tallman called T-Glass or T-Glaze, uh, depending on how you want to say it. This stuff is about $30 a spool, and you can use it directly. You don't even need to have a 3D printer to try this experiment. Just cut it with a sharp, sharp blade like a razor and try to get your cuts as clean as possible. I'm going to show you how to install it and what the final result looks like. Okay, I've got these five pieces cut. You'll notice there's a flat end. It's got a bit of a curve to it. And there's an angled end. The angled end is going to be close to my eye, hopefully angling into the side of my eye. The flat end will be on the cell phone screen. Those will slide right into these holes. And I'll probably use hot glue to hold them in place on the other side. Yes, I'm going to have sharp little things pointing at my face, but for this test, it should be okay. Uh, if this works, then I will probably 3D print something that has a less dangerous profile. All right, so here's the final result. It only took about 15 minutes to do, and looking around, I can totally see the colors that hit that side of the screen in the fiber optic uh, or in the uh, in the light pipes it doesn't really improve the immersion it looks like there's just tiny holes in my swim goggles really to improve the immersion I would have to do probably about four times as many of these and spread it out width wise but you could do that I mean I, I don't see why you couldn't do that and it's completely passive um, I wonder if maybe just changing the shape to spread it out uh, surface area or something like that on this end would help. But it's really interesting. I mean, I don't know how well I can catch it on camera, but you can absolutely see when something white goes across the side of the screen, color changes, blue, red, whatever. The color is the most obvious change, more so than the brightness right now. Uh, of course, the video I'm watching is also 
kind of all very evenly colored. Um, but yeah, easy way to explore augmented peripheral vision in virtual reality for dirt cheap. There you go. Improvements I'd make, I'd do about four times as many. I'd change the shape so that it couldn't stab you in the face. There you go.